Uh, former Congresswoman Jane Harmon, she was on the House Intelligence Committee and the House Homeland Security and Armed Services Committee. She's now the president of the Wilson Center. Congresswoman, thanks for joining us. ICE is claiming they brought down this Russian plane with a soda can bomb. Does this claim come off as credible to you? I think it's plausible. I don't know if it's true. Uh, I think a bomb was used. Uh, everyone is 99.9% .9 certain of that, except for the Egyptians, because they're embarrassed. Uh, whether it was this bomb or not, uh, we know that uh, al Assyri, the bomb maker in Yemen, has been trying for years and would have succeeded but for good intelligence and the fact that the Christmas Day bomber's bomb uh, did, not, uh, did not explode. Uh, because of uh, a, a mistake, the, the sweat from his body blocked it from exploding. Uh, we know that this is something they're trying to do, and I worry intensely that whether this was the bomb or not the bomb, uh, that, that ISIL will get its hands on a bomb. And P.S., the other thing I'm worried about is nuclear proliferation out of Pakistan or North Korea. Uh, these folks show that they'll do anything, and if they get a tactical bomb or a radiological bomb, uh, I, I would predict they would use it wherever they could use it, and that could be an absolute game changer here. Now, these terrorist plots, uh, the one in the Sinai, the, the car bombs uh, in Beirut, and obviously the night of terror Friday night, five nights ago here in Paris, they show ISIS seeming to expand its capabilities uh, to strike almost anywhere. How concerned are you that what happened here in Paris could happen in the United States? I think the U.S. is a very different place from Europe. We've assimilated a large Muslim population. Uh, they uh, help, in many cases, the FBI and others uh, unravel plots. Uh, we have quite good tradecraft. Our Department of Homeland Security is really good at this now. So is the FBI, and so are many local police uh, departments. I saw that in my years in Congress, that plots were un were unraveled by local police departments. And we've unraveled most of the plots in the United States, uh, many of which can't be disclosed. So I'm fairly confident uh, that we're in good shape. There's no such thing as 100% security. They have to be lucky once. We have to be right 100% of the time. And I do worry about the prevalence of guns in our country and easy access to guns. And criminal elements uh, provided these guns and other, uh, other uh, technical means in Europe. Uh, we know that from the Charlie Hebdo attack 10, 10 months ago, and we're finding it out here. And uh, if these folks uh, who exist in the United States, too, are contacted, they can get very bad stuff to people who may not be that sophisticated, but certainly can shoot up uh, a movie theater. We've seen that, even though those were not Muslims, not the same issue, uh, fairly easily. And Congresswoman, if President Obama asked you to come into his office and advise him on how he could better fight the war against ISIS, what would you tell him? Well, we've, we've got to up our game uh, in two ways. First of all, the kinetic fight uh, in the region. Uh, and I know we're thinking about doing this. I'm not advocating boots on the ground, but I am advocating uh, increased use of air power and more targeters, targeters and special operators on the ground to help support a Sunni fighting force on the ground in much larger numbers. That's one piece. Uh, second piece is surging the diplomatic effort in Vienna. There has to be a political solution to this in the end. We have all the players sitting around a table. Now they have to help make a decision uh, about a political process in Syria. But the third piece is the idea piece. Uh, ISIL has two things. It has a fighting force that's holding territories, and it has an idea. We have to defeat the idea. We have to get in front of these recruiters who are doing a good job, especially in Europe, of getting foreign fighters. We have to have better messaging by people who are defectors, uh, imams, moderate uh, Muslim voices. Uh, and we should use our private sector, which has much more capacity than our State Department, uh, to do these things. And finally, we have to uh, close off our black eyes, specifically Gitmo, uh, which is a, a B-roll for recruiting. So many of the people executed by ISIL have worn the uniforms of those prisoners who are still okay. in Guantanamo Bay. Congresswoman Jane Harmon, thank you so thank much. You, Appreciate Jay. it.